Kelly dropped this off, huh? It hit stands tomorrow. Nothing like making the headlines in your own newspaper. <laughs> and with all the uh, taste and restraint that the Sun is famous for. Well, you guys at the Bannerkin have all the restraint you want. And of course, uh, a third of our total circulation. It would appear that time in a coma hasn't really mellowed him. Hmm, not at all. Like you guys had wanted to. I am just very, very grateful that you're okay. Not as much as I am, trust me. Uh, okay. Go work on your own headline. Oh, don't forget the name of the gunman. Tomas Delgado. T-O-M-A-S. Yes, we do actually employ a copy editor, and I think I might just wait for official charges to be pressed well, before I put the man's name the you're going to miss the, the story paper. again, because they're going to nail this guy. Don't worry. When it comes to you, darling, I always work. <laughs> God. I thought she'd never leave. Dad, be nice. You know Aunt Vicky loves you. Maybe. But now I got you all to myself. All right, let's hear it. Hear what? What's been going on with you since I've been dead to the world? We all took turns. Uh, Danny, even though she had school, was here every single day, and Nate came with her. He was super supportive. Mom came a lot, too, and sometimes she brought Jack and Sam. Yeah, I talked to them on the phone. They were awfully quiet. Is everything okay? Mm. Mom will fill you in with that. They were mostly just really worried about you. We all were. But we all helped each other get through it. So, you failed to mention one person. Unless you got wise and dumped him. If you're talking about James, I didn't think that you'd want to hear about him. Why, did you guys do things I don't want to hear about? We didn't do anything. Like, out of respect for me. Yeah. Seriously? No! No, we had a lot going on. Like what? Like his ex-girlfriend coming into town from Ohio. Ooh, what does she want? Him, I think. What you gonna do about it? So Dina is staying in Landview to save enough money for that lawyer back in Dayton. And this lawyer's gonna help her find her birth mother. Mm-hmm. And she needs to save money in the land view because... Hmm, James. Right. But I can't tell her where to live, Dad, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Got a couple ideas. These ideas you have for getting rid of Dina, are they legal? As legal as it gets. Your, your stepmom's a lawyer, remember that. So why should this chick waste her money on some... Amulet's chased from Dayton and she can get Taya to help her find her birth mother. You would ask Taya to do that? Well, for you, I'd do anything. Even if it involved James? Well, it's true, I don't like James, but you do. So, I guess I'll bite the bullet. It's not like it would be the first time. <laughs> what? How does that look? I just don't know what to say. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Must be this whole near-death experience thing. You better take advantage of it before it wears off. <sighs> Dad, that is a really good idea. I mean, Dina won't take the money, but maybe she'll let Taya take her case. Yeah, and if she doesn't, I have some associates with time on their hands who specialize in escorting people out of town. I'm glad you said that. Why, are you going to take me up on it? No. No, no, I'm... I just know that I have my dad back. You're not gonna answer that? No, 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 I know. I'm tired, I think I'm gonna take a nap. You'd be, you'd be surprised how sleepy, sleeping for weeks makes you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so glad that you woke up. Mm, sweet dreams. Mm. Yeah. Because my daughter was in the room. Yeah, she's gone now. What do you want? 